Shall we? Good morning and welcome to Roe Valley's Daily Podcast. How's everybody doing this morning? It is a sunny morning. It's a cold morning. It's frosty. Um, and uh, the sky's blue, though. Weather looks nice. I'm happy. I'm happy about it. Boy, we had a great night last night at Roe Valley's. I'll tell you what, super busy down there. And it was nice because the week, the previous week was a little slow, <laughs> but uh, we uh, absolutely appreciate everybody coming in last night. And we had so many first timers. Um, the Ogden Restaurant Week people are still out in force. We had a lot of those guys come in last night. And if you've got your uh, Ogden Restaurant Week uh, gift cards, um, don't forget to use them. They expire at the end of the month, okay? All right, guys. Well, we have a lot of stuff to cover. And uh, at the end of the podcast, I'm going to tell you, we found a winner. We drew a random winner uh, for our free whole cake giveaway. But you got to wait. You have to wait. Is this a ploy? Yeah. It's a, is it a hook? Yeah, it's kind of a hook. But hey, you know, I want you guys to hear our features because we have so much going on. Um, first and foremost, on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, uh, our gift cards go on sale and um, we are excited. Uh, this year, we're going to pretty much do the same thing we did last year because it, it worked really well for us. So for every $25 uh, that you spend um, with us for a gift card, you get a free slice of dessert of cake. Or if we have the pie, um, you get a free slice with uh, every $25 or more. And, um, and as a, a slice of your choice, uh, what we have on hand. Sometimes you may say, hey, I want this, but we don't have that cake on a, in a particular day or a particular week. And so uh, you'd have to choose with what we have on hand. But you get, a, you get a walk away with not only a great gift card to uh, either use for yourself or give us a stocking supper or a present, uh, but you get a walk away with <laughs> a free slice of cake of your choosing and nobody's the wiser. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do a toast. Oh, man. I really love this mug. <laughs> Can you love a mug? You can, I love this mug. No, I'm kidding. I know it's a mug. I know. I know. I don't, I don't know where that came from. My, my whole morning is thrown off a little bit because, see, Sanchez has already eaten. Okay. Sanchez has already been put outside and let back in. And now he's walking around behind me and you can see his tail. <laughs> Maybe there it is. There's his tail. <laughs> you can see his tail and he's walking around with this Kong in his mouth and uh, hoping that he's not going to go and start barking like he did that one time. You remember that. <laughs> anyway, so don't forget about the gift cards going on sale this Black Friday. Okay. And um, let's see what else we have. So um, we also wanted to talk about this because we, you know, with the, with the current um, uh, precautions put in place by the governor, uh, we know that there's still, a, there's a lot of people that are really nervous about COVID and so on and so forth. And one thing I would like to let you know, for those of you that are really nervous about getting too close to people and so forth, um, and this is in all seriousness, because we want you guys to be comfortable, but we still want you to dine with us at Roe Valley's. And that is... Uh, the hours between two and four uh, on, on the days that we're open um, is usually a slower time. So it is perfect for people that don't want to be too close. And if you come between the hours of two and four and you want to dine in because you're kind of getting tired of takeout or whatever, um, and you want, or you just want to say hi to people and, and, and you know, kind of remember what Ro Valleys is all about. Well, that is the perfect time because what we'll make sure that we do between two and four, since it's not so busy, if you come in, we will make sure that you are spaced really far apart uh, in the dining room so that you're more comfortable. And, um, and I want to just call that, um, I don't even have a name for it yet. I don't, I don't want to have a come up with a clever name, but I just want to let you know that the hours uh, during the week between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Uh, are slower hours. So if you want to really social distance yourself from other uh, people in the public, uh, come during that time and you can dine and we'll make sure that you're, you know, if we have five tables in there, we'll make sure they're all 
And, and we'll let our servers and everybody know that they're all spread apart so that there's quite a bit of distance. And that's, and, and that's the perfect time. So if you're feeling uncomfortable about, you know, being too close to other people right now, uh, we understand. And, uh, but there is a time that you can come in and have a great meal at Royal Valley's, relax, take off your mask, and be far enough away from anybody else that you feel comfortable. Okay, so I just want to pitch that to you, let you know, and we're starting that uh on tuesday okay don't forget we are closed on sunday and monday but tuesday through saturday two to four uh, we have a, a a lot of space for you to relax in and be far enough away from other people that uh, you can enjoy your meal and not be nervous we want you comfortable we want everybody comfortable anyway i want to do i do want to thank everybody that came in last night because man we had so many first timers i love it i love it and, um, and I do want to say that uh, my Zoom cast that we did with uh, the other proprietors and store owners from uh, 25th Street, Historic 25th Street, man, that went over like gangbusters. We're getting a ton of views. It worked really well. And um, I, think, I think we're going to try and do it again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out to the businesses uh, once again uh, before Christmas. And let's do it again because I think it, it actually picked up uh foot traffic and did what we wanted so we want to thank you the public for coming out watching the video and saying you know what i do need to shop local i need to go over there and uh, and and give these guys the business okay <laughs> we want the business hey anyway uh so uh we're we're all grateful for that and we want you to just to keep coming for the rest of the holiday season come and do your shopping come and do your dining come and do your, uh drinking uh creating uh, you know, um, you got color me mine, you can make stuff uh, and and all of the things that that historic 25th Street has to offer. Come on down and check it out because it's awesome. All right, you guys, let's see what else I have here. Uh, oh, let me show you my features because we are ready. Uh, I got some some stuff for you. Let me get it all set up here. There we go. All right. And I'm going to share my screen real quick so you can see what my features are today. And here we go. All right, there we go. So uh, the Caprice chicken went so well last night. And um, as you can tell, we have a grilled breast of chicken with melted mozzarella, a little bit of a drizzled homemade pesto on top over our angel hair pasta in a lighter tomato basil sauce. And it is really, really super fantastic. Very delicious. And oops, I'm going too fast. My, my wine of choice to uh, pair with that particular dish is the Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. And uh, whenever I say Sauvignon Blanc, I have to take a drink. I don't know why, it's weird. Would you call that a tick? Would you call that a, a thing? Would you, I, I don't know what to call it, but Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> okay, I know I'm going off the rails, but that's me, you know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this one is a nice California white, and it absolutely matches perfectly with my featured dish, the Caprese chicken over angel hair, okay? So try that tonight. And here are some new desserts that we have for the weekend. This is the Italian chocolate love cake. And um, what better, what more appropriate time is there than now to have a love cake, right? We all need a little bit of love and Andrea knew that. And so she put together the Italian chocolate love cake and this cake is super delicious. Very, very popular. And if you wanna have lunch today or curbside takeout, um, a sandwich is a great way to go. This one is in particular is a, a chicken sandwich and it is chock full of fresh veggies. Uh, the bread is so soft. It's crunchy on the outside, but soft on the inside. It's like the perfect sandwich. And one of my new, my newest cocktails is the eggnog white Russian. And when Andrea put this recipe together and we taste tested it, um, this one was one of my favorites. It really was. And I'm not a super eggnog fan, but the way she made this one made me an eggnog fan. Okay. I am an eggnog fan now because of this cocktail right here. <laughs> and we have our, of course, our lasagna. And that's all. That's perfect. The lasagna is like, is like the perfect 
meal. It's like the perfect thing. I mean, if you think, if you go through uh, the different types of uh, foods, like Mexican food, the taco, okay? There's no, there's no comparison. It's the taco. The taco is the favorite thing, right? And uh, if you go through uh, Japanese food, you know, it could be a sushi roll. That is the thing. That's the signature. That's the one, right? Well, likewise for Italiano, it is the lasagna. The lasagna is the perfect thing. And the nice thing about the lasagna is you can do this for lunch or dinner and it's perfect. I haven't tried it for breakfast yet, but hey, you never know. You never know. Oh, look at this, one of my faves. This is the butter pecan cake. And uh, this one we have tonight, and it, it is a, such a good cake, very moist. Look at that frosting. Look at how thick that frosting is on there. The nice thing about Andrea's frostings are they just, uh, they're not heavy. They're not like greasy in your mouth. They just, they're light and they're tasty and they, and they finish really smoothly, okay? There's no lingering film or weird stuff, right? It's just nice, clean desserts, beautiful. Oh, another good one. This is a, this is a, one of our family and friends favorites is the blueberry lavender cake. Now, there's been, there's controversy with this cake. I want you to know there's controversy. In fact, I better take a sip because I, I got to delve into this a little bit, all right? Here's the controversy. Andrea calls it the lavender blueberry cake. I call it the blueberry lavender cake. What do you call it? right? What do you call it? What should be the name of this cake? Because we, we tussle back and forth. You know, I have control of the media, so I tell you what I want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I think it should be called the blueberry lavender. She thinks it should be called the lavender blueberry because the lavender is more, I don't want to say more prominent, but it's on the outside. The blueberry's on the inside. Hmm. Maybe she is right. She could be right. Nah, she's not right. <laughs> All right. And we sold so much gourmet hot chocolate last night. We sold out. We sold out. We had to stop. I had to stop pitching. I had to stop selling it because everybody was getting it. It was cold and this is hot. And look at that whipped cream on top. I mean, come on, guys. Ooh, the Jack Frost cocktail. This one is really good and it's made with Grey Goose and it is fantastic. And here's another dessert, the orange ricotta cake. We sold a bunch of that too. Cheesecake, excuse me. We sold a bunch of that cheesecake last night as well. And it's a really good cake. Well, look at this. Somebody eating one of Rovelli's cannolis. There you go. Okay. Cannoli, cannoli, cannoli. We are famous for our cannolis. Our cannolis are the best. They're delicious and they're fun to eat. Can't you tell? Ah, <laughs> oh, and this... Cocktail is quickly becoming a, a, a Rovalli's favorite, the grapefruit mojito. And we sold a lot of those last night and it was really, really fun and delicious. Okay, so those are my features. Now, we are at the end of the podcast and I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for the winner? It could be you. It could be you. It could be you or you. Somebody out there, somebody out there is going to win a whole sweet potato cake in mere moments, okay? But at first, I have to have a drink. Okay, that's called the teaser, my friends. <laughs> All right, so this was randomly drawn. The way we do it, because I want you to understand, I know you're like, enough already. Get with the winner. Say my name already. But I want you to understand how we come across the winner, okay? Because we want you to know it's very, very fair, okay? Um, I get all the numbers from all of the different uh, social medias uh, and we give a number to a name, right? And we add those numbers in. And then we, uh, I have a random picker that you can go on Google and find a random generator and you put in the number from one to whatever, if it's one to a thousand or one to 500 or whatever, you put those numbers in and then you hit the button and Google will randomly pick a number. And that's how we do it so that there's no bias or anything like that, right? And uh, so this is the name that we came up with. Are you ready? Let's see. Oh, where, what did I do with the name? There it is. Oh, <laughs> Woo! Got scared there for a second. Man, I better have another drink. All right, all right, all right. I know. I, I hear you. I feel you. I'm going to give you a hint, though, okay, before I just say it. <laughs> the first 
letter begins with one of the alphabet. <laughs> oh boy, now I'm just getting obnoxious. Okay, our grand prize winner of the sweet potato cake is Emily Harems. I hope I'm pronouncing that uh, last name correctly. Uh, Emily Harems, H-A-R-A-M-E-S. You are our winner of our sweet potato whole cake, random, dr randomly drawn. So congratulations, you get a whole cake. Now, there's a little bit of instructions and we will send you a DM, okay, uh, with more information, but uh, we need you to call in today to make reservation, or excuse me, to make, um, uh, what's the word? Arrangements, thank you. To make arrangements uh, to pick up the cake because um, we, after, after Wednesday, we're closed for um, Thanksgiving, obviously. And then we uh, open just a half day on a Black Friday when the gift cards go on sale. Okay, so uh, Emily Harems, I will send you a DM. We'll get you some information. But if you're watching the podcast today, give us a call at Rovelli's at 801-394-1070. And let's make arrangements for you to get your delicious homemade sweet potato cake. Once again, Congratulations. And once again, thanks to everybody that participated in the cake giveaway. It was a lot of fun. We got a lot of play on it, uh, a lot of play on Instagram and, and uh, Twitter and everywhere else. Uh, so we're, we're really happy about that and Facebook too. So uh, congratulations, Emily, and uh, give us a call today. Now, if you guys uh, that, that, that are, are still concerned about COVID and don't really want to come into Dine to Row Valleys, not a problem. We had a wonderful uh, evening of takeout last night, plenty of takeout. And so we want to offer that to you, curbside takeout, okay? Uh, we are very good at what we do as far as being organized and getting you there uh, when uh, your time is come. So we'll, we'll you go online to rovalis.com, R-O-V-A-L-I-S.com. Did I say that too, too fast? R-O-V-A-L-I-S.com. Uh, or you can call us at 801-394-1070 and place your order. And we send you a text to your phone and then we'll say, okay, your order is going to be 30 minutes. So that way you don't have to come to Row Valleys and wait around. You can just uh, drive up to when your 30 minutes is near completion. And then you text us and say, hey, I'm in uh, pick up slot number four, pick up slot number three. And then we say, okay, got it. We're putting your food together right now. It'll be out in a, in a moment. And then we run our, our food out to you. So it's really nice, convenient. You don't have to get out of your car. Uh, you just wait for us and we'll bring it right to your door. And, and then you can have delicious hot Row Valley's food at home. Okay. Uh, so there you go. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. And uh, once again, thank you for everybody to for participating. And I want to thank all the store owners and, and business owners on 25th Street for joining me on the podcast yesterday. It was, it was just spectacular, a lot of fun. And we got really, really good results and we continue to get good results. So thank you, everybody. You guys are amazing. You're awesome. And don't forget lunch or dinner or curbside takeout at Row Valley's today. All right, you guys have a good one. We'll see you on the flip side. Ciao for now. Whoop, whoop.